The big story tonight, hundreds of police officers and firefighters are told today that they are losing their jobs. The city of Phoenix dealing with a budget crisis, slashing those positions, and some say it could put public safety at risk. Andrew Hasbin has been spending the day going through this. This is a drastic cost-cutting move. Is it completely necessary? Well, John, that is still uh, up for debate, but the city ordered the uh, police to come up with a plan for a 12% budget cut, and that amounts to $55 million. The numbers are huge. 353 sworn officers and 56 civilians could lose their jobs. You cannot cut those kinds of numbers of officers and civilian staff out of our organization and expect the same levels of service. Chief Jack Harris did not sugarcoat it. The youngest officers will be the first to go. More senior officers and detectives may end up back on patrol. We're going to do our primary mission, which is responding to calls for service. All other services in the department are going to suffer. That means a possible backlog of cases and fewer people investigating crimes. Officer Abby Frost has been on the force for about a year. I suspect that I would be one of those people laid off. The 24-year-old now has to wait and see what happens in April. At this point, I'm still young enough to where I could go and do anything if I wanted. And this year experience that I've had with the police department, I feel is a good jumpstart for that. In addition to the layoffs, senior managers will take a pay cut of up to 9%. The response times are going to go up. You can't do more with less. Mark Spencer is the head of the police union. Our investigation division already is carrying a 40% vacancy rate. To take any more away is to cause serious problems. The chief stressed that this is just a proposal, a worst-case scenario. Cut. What the cut is going to be will be made after the mayor and city council receive the input of the community. Again, this is just a proposal. There will be a series of community meetings held between now and when the council votes on this in a few months. Ultimately, it will be the council's decision as to how much the police department will have to cut. Reporting live in downtown Phoenix, the major has been Fox 10 News. And we're not just talking about Phoenix police here. Phoenix Fire will also have to make some big cuts as well. Fire Chief Bob Kahn says his department may have to let go of 144 firefighters. We don't know if the department is considering shutting down any fire stations yet. The chief says the current budget crisis is the biggest challenge he's ever faced in his career.